Hi, welcome to Paul on Power, Power System Design's podcast on power and power design. This is a special video edition that's being held at the uh, Global Press Electronic Summit, and I'm here today with uh, Uday Mudoy. He's the uh, Director of Product Marketing for Vitesse. Now, I understand you've just come out with some really nice products that are going to save some people some power, right? Yeah. Thanks, Alex, uh, for the introduction. Yes, we are very excited about our new products. Um, and our even our previous generation of product which customers are using and they dramatically save power in access networking equipments. Well, why don't we, why don't we just start with the product itself and then go into what, how it exactly it saves the uh, energy in the system. Right. So let me take you an example. Um, we are seeing in the access network space a lot of equipment needs where low power is needed. Right? Mm -hmm. For example, let's say you are talking about backhaul using small cells. Right. In many of those backhaul equipments are sitting on the top of a lamppost or side of a building. So you have to deliver power remotely. Right? On top of it, because you have to design for an outdoor environment in a very small space, your design has to be also thermally like lower power chips really make an easier thermal design and a cheaper thermal design. Well, power design is thermal design, right? <laughs> right, right. So overall, the power design actually is not only impacting how you power the device, it also impacting the cost of the box, which is hugely important when you look at the access devices where lots of access devices are needed because of the LT proliferation and the cloud access proliferation. Exactly, exactly. So how many switches are in this device? In our device, the first one we sampled called Sarval 1. It is a device which can uh, uh, switch up to 10 gigabit Ethernet ports, right, 10 gigabit traffic, but it's, it consumes only 1.6 watt. 1.6 watts? Yes. That is uh, what we believe is 75% lower than any competitive solution that we have seen in that marketplace. Right? And we now introduced the next generation of product in that family. Uh, it's called Sarval 2. It actually increases the bandwidth from 10 gig to 30 gig. Right? 30 gig? Yeah. Um, but uh, we are still waiting for our final results on the power measurements from our lab, but we are based on the same architecture and the technology. And the way we have saved power in both solutions is by doing more and more functions in silicon versus doing it in a CPU or software. So you're basically doing more integration and the integration allows you to have the savings. Yes. One of the major things is that our architecture is very power sensitive. So we save power wherever we can by disabling function that customers are not using. But on top of it, we also save power by designing a product which is very specific to a particular marketplace. So by being very application specific, you're allowed to trim the fat, as it were, exactly. and have a more uh, lean system. Right, right. And if I can give you an example of another chip that we have recently sampled, or another technology that we have in, uh, introduced, which is actually encryption security technology, right? That's called IntelliSec. And all that encryption is done in hardware. So if you do encryption in hardware, then even to do one gig or 10 gig encryption, you actually don't add any more power to the system design, which is very unique in the industry. Well, I, uh, that's, uh, that's obvious, because the thing is, is that encryption is becoming more and more important in uh, systems. And uh, you know, why, why make it uh, power hog? Right. And many encryption technology, which is based on processors, becomes a power hog. Whenever you increase the bandwidth, it actually consumes more and more power. Right. Because it's basically a heat engine. The more cycles it's running, the... Exactly. Exactly. And it is the same thing for our access switch devices. It actually doesn't run more cycles to do more functions. It consumes the same power. So the, again, coming back to the thermal design, it becomes simpler because once you put it into the field, by enabling more function, you're not going to consume more power. Exactly. Well, I'll tell you what. Is there anything else you'd like to leave us with before we close out this episode? What I would say is that uh, we are very proud of uh, the architecture that we have built in. It's called Vitesse Service Error Architecture. It is combined with other Vitesse technologies, such as IntelliSec for encryption in hardware, 
and very time with the timing and synchronization in hardware. So we provide a complete portfolio of solution for mobile backhaul and cloud access services. Well, thank you, Uday. Uh, what's the website? www.ptest.com. Excellent. Thank well, you. thank you very much. And I'd like to thank all of you out there for taking the time to watch us. We can't do this without you. This is Alex Paul for Paulton Power. Have a great day. Thanks, Alex.